What is up guys? Welcome back. I am coming to you guys with another fishing report. Uh, this time for the Delta. Uh, I was lucky enough to spend three days down there uh, recently. I'm on my way back right now and uh, I'm actually heading back for a Clear Lake tournament. Yeah, I'm going to be fishing the MLF. Uh, yeah, see how that goes. <laughs> I am not a good tournament fisherman. I'm going to tell you guys that right now. Everybody already knows that. I, I'm a guide. I <laughs> I can catch them with, I can put clients on big fish and I can somehow get them to get that bite and get them in the boat, all that stuff. But when it comes to tournaments, I don't know, man. I, I just, I struggle sometimes. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not all the time. Sometimes I can whack them in a tournament, but I get psyched out quite a bit and kind of, it's all mental, right? And I just fucking, I'll lose it sometimes in tournaments, but we'll see. We'll see. It's a big tournament. Uh, it's going to be a fun deal. Um, every big tournament like this, I feel like I just get a little bit more um, experience with it. Um, so that's probably the main reason, I, you know, it's good to do them um, so that I can actually be a good tournament fisherman. But other than that, I'm not going to lie, I'm just a guy. <laughs> so let's get into the important stuff though, right? Delta, right? This is why, this is why you guys wanted to watch this video. Um, the Delta was tough for me, believe it or not. Um, it was tough, but I did find some fish. I found what they were doing. Um, we did boat some bigger fish. I didn't catch them, but they were in the boat. Um, so I'll get to kind of what we caught those fish on um, and things like that. But let's start with water clarity, right? Because that's your number one, um, I don't know, adversity on the Delta right now is trying to find like that, the good water. Um, and it, you know, the cleanest water you can find is not always your best friend. Uh, I like that that a foot and a half to two feet visibility, and it seems like a lot of those bigger pre-spawn females were kind of in that foot and a half to two feet visibility. Uh, they they didn't want to be in that gin clear water yet, um, even though there was some bucks up there kind of making beds and doing things like that in some areas. Uh, and so, what I noticed is that the closer you are to those river channels, which is like this every year, you're going to have that dirtier water. Um, you know, less than a foot of visibility. Sacramento, San Joaquin, Liberty area is blown out. Uh, San Joaquin in a lot of areas is blown out. Uh, but there is kind of stained areas you can find, right? Where it goes from less than a foot to like two foot of visibility tops, right? Uh, and those areas are good. Those areas are where I'm getting more reaction fish, you know, catch one spinner baits, chatter baits, um, traps. Uh, finding clean grass really helps with that too. Not that snotty stuff. You know, some of that grass is starting to grow uh, and, and things like that. And then, like I said, you move back a little further and you're finding four foot, five foot of visibility, maybe even more um, with some fish pushing shallow. And those are the fish I gotta, I gotta finesse. You know what I mean? I gotta throw a Senko at them. I gotta throw a drop shot. Um, you know, in the low light periods, I can get them on like a trap or a chatterbait or, you know, stuff like that, maybe a spinnerbait. Um, but, other than that, it was difficult to get those fish to go on reaction. Now, what you can do is get them punching them. You can flip those areas, you know, and pick them off. Because when the sun gets high, they look for concealment. Um, or when the tide drops out and the sun gets high, they look for concealment. They don't want to leave that area yet. Um, so they, they, they get under those mats, right? And there's also food under there. There's a lot of crawfish eating the dead hyacinth and stuff right now. Um, so. There, there's food sources there. The, the golden shiners are running around. Uh, we're swimming around over the, the flats and stuff right now. So there's fish pushing flats big time on the Delta. Uh, and, and it's just about kind of finding that right water clarity to, to, to get them to mess up, right? At least this is what I've noticed, right? This is the pattern. Uh, now, my experience, I didn't, I didn't whack them. Like I said, I, I, my best limit, I think, over the three days was maybe close to 15 pounds tops. Um, and that was with like a four and a half uh, Bella caught with me on a chatterbait. So I didn't even catch it. I just kept catching these little like one and a half, two pounders. I, I got like a three pounder later on on a trap. Um, but yeah, it was just like, it was like pulling teeth sometimes to get bites, you know? And, and I noticed that those tide switches, I would get like a few bites, you know, like when a most of the time, most of the time I was there, the, the tide was pretty high and it would be dropping out most of the day. Um, so, I, you know, I tried to punch that time frame, which isn't really ideal per se all the time. Uh, but I did get some fish on flats uh, with, you know, traps uh, and chatterbaits, uh, things like that with, with that tide dropping out. But 
I, like I said, I really was trying to punch because this is the time of year I got my one and only 1082 out of the Delta. Um, it was from, I think it was like mid, or no, it was late March. So it's a little early yet for it. But I got to punch it. So, you know, I really committed to the mats, you know, punching a lot. I had a couple different weights uh, on, trying to, you know, adjust based on the, the speed of fall and, and leaving it in there for a long time um, to get those fish to bite. And I, I mean, every day I'd catch, you know, I don't even know, like five to, to 10 fish punching for the most part. Um, and so it was, it wasn't a bad punch bite, but it wasn't like good quality yet, you know, and that's, that's all kind of frustrating about the Delta right now for me is I'm not getting that quality. Um, I know there's quality in some areas, uh, but the quality that used to be just kind of everywhere is just, I, I can't find it like I used to. Um, now I'm not saying I don't know where it's at. I, I think I know a few areas where it is. It's just that water, I can't fish it because it's dirty. You know what I mean? Um, it really psychs you out. And it's all muddy and stuff like that. But coming the next few months, guys, I'll be catching them in it uh, for sure. I'm, I'm excited about that. Um, and I think the Delta is going to be better this year than it was last year for anybody asking. It's, it's going to be good. Um, so I talked about water clarity. Oh, water temperature, right? Because you guys heard me talk about spawning fish. You're probably thinking like freaking 60 degrees, which damn near there in some spots, right? Way in the back of these sloughs. Um, some of these areas where, you know, clean, clean water. Um, these fish, you know, it's 58, 59 degrees back there. And I was seeing fish making beds. Now, you know, you pull out to the main river channels and stuff. I was seeing in the mornings like 54. Um, so it's, you know, it's it's up there. It's actually a good temperature for pre-spawn, um, a good average temperature for pre-spawn activity. Um, most of my fish I was catching on color-wise was craw colors, but um, our bigger fish came on like golden shiner stuff. Um, Bella, like I said, she stuck a four and a half and like a 460. Uh, each day that we fished together on a like a gold bladed chatterbait um, so you know imitating kind of that gold flash that those golden shiners like to put off um, and she I mean she locked in her hand she didn't catch a lot of fish but she caught the biggest one every freaking day um, and that tends to be my style so she's stealing my style man uh, but no I I figured out a lot of like you know different baits that were getting bit you know I caught some on a drop shot I caught some on a a, a spinner bait, caught some on a chatter bait to a caught trap fish, which got me really excited. I love a route trap when they get going on that and they pop it so freaking hard. Um, the last day I was there yesterday though, I was getting a lot of like short strikes, almost like they were kind of territorial guarding stuff. Like they were kind of pushing in a lot of that warm temperatures, I think started to get to them. So they got less like feeding mode and they more, um, I don't know, more aggressive territorialness, uh, standpoint, but, but yeah, I mean, it really, like I said, it wasn't a slugfest for me. I did struggle quite a bit. Um, now with that being said, I think if I would have had a couple more days out there, maybe a day, um, I could have really put a couple more areas together. Um, Cause I kind of stayed like north for the most part. Um, I fished a lot around like Snod, uh, uh, Hog, Beaver, Sycamore, uh, places like that. And don't get me wrong, there was fish up there, but the fact that I wasn't getting many big bites, Maybe kind of want to go look, you know, around disappointment. Um, wait, you know, more towards the Stockton area um, to see what's going on down there. Because I feel like I probably could have whacked them down there. Uh, now, if I, like I said, as if I had one more day, but uh, oh darn, you know. Now I'm up, going back up to Clear Lake. So I'm going to go whack on these freaking fish again uh, for this tournament, hopefully. So even though we got snow coming. <laughs> but we'll see how that, that pans out. Um, if I missed anything, guys, feel free to drop a comment below, um, and I'll, I'll get to that promptly and answer your guys' questions. Uh, if you guys are looking to book a trip, I do have availability mid-April for the Delta, um, so hit me up, and we'll get you guys scheduled um, around that time frame. Um, it's a great time to be out there. It's one of my favorite times because they're, they're kind of starting to spawn, and you don't have to actively work them. You can blind cast them if you hit the tide right, um, and it can be really fun catching some really big fish. So hit me up for that. Um, but other than that, guys, I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.